Hey guys, I think we're finally at the last video for this series. Hopefully this has been pretty helpful for everybody. Just kind of this crash course into Painter. Um, but yeah, I think the last thing I want to do, like I mentioned just a few minutes ago, is I just need to break up this gold. You know, it, they, it looks odd seeing that perfect text, especially for how much we've beat up the leather. Oh, one interesting thing here. I'm kind of glad I caught this. Look at the leather height. It's popping up instead of going down. I should have caught that, but that's totally fine. Let's go back to the leather material and see, okay, it does have height. I want to sink this down so it understands it's lower than the other leather. So height range, I think it's going to be height position. Let's pull this back. Let's see, is it working? It's interesting, it's working with the gold, but not with the other one. I wonder if I have that same blend mode issue going on. Let me just check that real fast. Yep, the leathers are adding together. Let's do normal. There we go. So the I kind of had that same blend mode issue that keeps popping up. Uh, so even I fight with this constantly. It's kind of funny. Um, but it was adding together. Let me see if I can now sink this guy down. There it goes. Yeah. Perfect. Let's keep going. It should dip below the other one. Okay, now they're even. And now if we go below it, it should look like it sinks in. Nice. Much, much better. Good. I'm glad I caught that. Uh, so that was easy to miss, unless you zoomed in there and looked at it. But now the, the warm part is lower than the other leather. Okay, so last thing is going to be breaking up the gold trim. And I didn't really finish the gold, you know, but do this near the end when you're kind of like wrapping it up. So we want to break up the consistency of the gold. And I want to make a couple areas of the gold look a little drier because I need some more roughness variation. Let's do the um, roughness first, maybe. Okay, so in here, I've got a gold material. And if you look at the roughness on this, see how it's just like the same flat color. I want to have like drier sections so it looks like this oil and residue has been kind of building up on the surface. So what we need to do is in this group for the gold, let's add a fill layer, call it gold roughness, turn off everything but roughness. So it's only doing roughness. Okay, we're going to add a black mask. We're going to add a fill because I just really want to blanket this thing with a generator uh, or a, uh, sorry, procedural. Grab, sure, the first grunge is probably going to be totally fine. So we got this guy on there. I'm just going to pull this balance back so there's a little more variation. Let's do something kind of like that. Okay. This one's going to be kind of hard to see because the gold doesn't show up in many areas, but let's make this drier. Yeah, you can. Oh, I can kind of see it on some of those pieces. Yeah, it's pretty subtle, but if I look at the roughness, yeah, you can tell there are areas now where the gold is not perfectly shiny. Yeah, let's actually pull that back. I actually may take the roughness of the gold and lower that a bit more just to push the contrast between the two sections. That eh, it's subtle, but it's there. It's it's all good. All right, let's also do this little alpha breakup real quick. Okay, so. Um, holding option, clicking on that guy. How do we break it up? Surprise, we are going to do another fill layer with a procedural. So we keep doing this over and over again. So you can see how much I like these because like it's such an easy way just to like add awesome texture detail without hand painting any of this stuff. This is really why Painter is so powerful. So let's just add um, on the mask of that gold, let's just add a fill. And let's see, what do we want to do today? Do, um, let's try, let's try eight. Why not? I'm going to grab eight. Okay, it's going to drag that over there. And this one, I can probably just look at the result, like look at the material. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> so we've now made the entire book gold. Good job, Jared. Okay, I want to have this eat away at the white, and we know how to fix it. That's a blend mode issue. So let's try putting it to multiply. See what's happening? And um, I could probably just maybe click on the fill layer now and just see if I can kind of get this to, to look good. I want to push a little more breakup. 
let's pump that contrast up. So if the gold is going to be chipped away, it needs to be completely gone. I don't want to have a lot of this gray, partially gold, partially leather areas. Like the gold is either there or it isn't. There's not really much of an in-between. So I'm cranking that contrast way up. And let's see what that looks like. Probably pushed it maybe a little too far, but I do like some of the chunks that are missing. Actually, that does look kind of cool. We probably could leave it. Yeah, so we could play around that a little more, I think, but um, just by turning this little grunge layer on and off, I am kind of liking the direction that's going. Like, that's giving us some really nice breakup. So I think that's going to be it for this leather material. You know, we, we're not bringing this out of Painter yet. It's going to be a completely different uh, part of the project. But if you think about where we kind of started and look at what we've got here, we've done a really good job kind of matching some of these leather colors. I'm thinking this is feeling pretty good. Uh, probably my biggest critique at this point is I feel like this leather might be a little bit too light. So there might be a couple small color things I need to, to work on, you know, getting the uh, that original leather. Maybe that just should be like a tiny bit darker than it currently is. Maybe something like that. But other than that, I think it feels pretty good. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, the next couple of videos and the other uh, video series, we're gonna really get into more detailed other techniques and, tr and tricks and kind of break this down um, with some of the other objects. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what every everybody works on in their uh, future painter projects.